What you're about to hear is a phone interview with Jonathan Neighbor, Adam Boer, and Ashan Norsalahi with IPT, a nonprofit organization that has been selected as the Autodesk Inventor of the Month for August 2011. IPT was selected for their use of Autodesk Inventor 3D mechanical design software in developing a more affordable and more easily fitted prosthetic arm for below elbow amputees, particularly those living in developing nations. Tell us a bit about the history of your company. In fact, I understand you began this venture as college students. That's right. I started uh, this organization after my freshman year of engineering school. Um, I had been working a research internship that I really was not passionate about uh, and really was seeking to come back to the University of Illinois uh, at the start of my sophomore year and start an organization, start a project that uh, could really make a difference in the world. A couple of factors uh, came into play when I decided to go after affordable prosthetic arms. Uh, the first of those is that I had experience working with people with disabilities in my family and friends. Uh, another of those factors is that I wanted to build good technology uh, that could help people. And finally, uh, I had a passion for looking at the developing world as a place where we could create opportunity for people. So all of those things came together into this moment of realizing, what if we built rehabilitation technology for people in the developing world? And once I had pegged that down, I started looking into what technology exists for doing that and found out about something called the J4 foot which is a $28 rubber leg that's produced in India and sent all around the world to people who have lost their leg due to landmines, disease, accidents, war, um, you know, whatever the cause. They've lost their leg, and the J4 foot re-enables them. Uh, but I started to look to see if there was a J4 arm and couldn't find one. And it was at that moment that I realized that you know, starting an organization around the idea of building an affordable prosthetic arm for people in developing countries could really create some good value. So I came back at the beginning of sophomore year of engineering school, built a team of fellow engineering students who I had met in class uh, and through our extracurricular activities, and all of whom had indicated some interest in the past about building prosthetic arms or developing products. And we really built a strong and powerful team and just went along from there. You mentioned in passing the University of Illinois. Tell us more about that and the team you assembled engineering students at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, uh, and all of the uh, partners at our organization were different types of engineers. We had a couple of material science and engineering majors, we had an engineering mechanist, we had a mechanical engineer, and then also a bioengineer. So one really powerful thing about our team has been the variety of, of engineering talent that we have. Tell us how Autodesk software has helped you create your products. In IPT, I think we're a really dynamic organization when it comes to prototyping. We work with a lot of different prototyping technology. We start on paper, we develop models that are made out of cardboard and foam and other materials, and we even go on to produce things that are made out of uh, the full-blown engineering materials from metal to fabrics. We've been doing a lot of sewing machine work recently. But Autodesk products are an integral part of this process. We use Autodesk Inventor a lot to create CAD models of things that we can't really produce in our house, in our shop. Uh, we have a lot of tools on hand, but sometimes there's stuff that we're just not able to replicate or build as quickly as we can on the computer. So we use Autodesk a lot, and especially Inventor, to create 3D models of parts that we'd like to build and then examine them or test them using the stress analysis tools to realize if they'll be up to the engineering specifications that we have. But it also helps us to take those parts and then interface with machine shops. Uh, last summer when we went to Guatemala, we had several parts produced by machine shops, and we were able to take drawings and files produced in Inventor and interface with machine shops, some of whom used that technology in their shops, and they were able to take those uh, drawing files and those part files and make them into a reality for us. But another point is we also use Autodesk software to help us visualize things. So I mentioned we build prototypes of all different fidelities, and sometimes when we're going through that process, we use software uh, like Sketchbook Pro to help us visualize all the layers and the features going on in, the, in a prototype we're going to build and sketch that out on the computer. We've also used 3ds Max to create uh, different renders and models that are very high quality and help us to explain our product to other people. And then finally, we've even experimented with creating parametrized arm models in Autodesk Inventor. So we've taken measurements that we've taken of an actual amputee's limb and then converted that to a digital model on the computer using the parameters that we can control and vary in Inventor. 
But uh, one thing that I'll mention as I to go back to is we use Autodesk software to help us visualize things, and that also helps us to communicate. Once we can create a digital model of something on the computer, we can create very effective communication pieces from a 3D model or a 3D render so that we can show people to visualize our ideas to even documentation that we could eventually use with our product when we distribute it to explain how to interact with it. But that's pretty much, in a nutshell, how we use Autodesk software. For more about IPT, visit www.supportipt.org. And for everything about the Autodesk Inventor of the Month program, visit www.autodesk.com forward slash Inventor of the Month.